Okay, so uh, I'm generally I've gotten pretty decent at leaving notes for my future self. Uh, but last episode of Treasure Adventure World, after we got a lot done, uh, my wife joined me at the very end of the stream and started talking about koala diseases. And I apparently got completely interrupted and completely forgot to give myself notes on what to do next in the game. So uh, I'm going to probably take a couple minutes to find my footing here. Uh, if anyone in the game, anyone in the chat is familiar with the game, wants to give me some direct tips and places I can go to make progress, that's totally cool. Um, otherwise, I think there are some in-game hints, things that I've unlocked that tell me places I could go explore with my current set of upgrades. So I'll wait to hit the timer here until the game actually boots. Next time we start talking about koala diseases, I should make sure to remember to still give myself notes. Koalas are good and diseases are bad. Hot tips. Uh, I thought I had... One second. Definitely played this with a controller before. Does it not like it now? Whoa. Alright, let me reset the clock. Very much a hot tip. And she'll come in and start talking about wombats. Exactly. <laughs> robot. Friendly robot. Maybe I have to, like, rebind? There we go. I just have to bring up the controls menu. Weird. That should be good. We had just come out here after doing some exploration inside of that room there. Check the nav pearls right now. We do have some. Crossed off ones are the ones I've already found. Some in the big tree. There's one at the basement of the island I'm on now, so I could try to get that again. I might try going further left, though. I feel like I might have a better chance of actually getting stuff. I think I finished the... There was a quest a long time ago to use the koala head. I already did that. So the implication it is really far down, and I'm pretty high up when I come in here first, so Let's see if there's another way for me to get further down in here. If not, I'll go to a different F per location. Still can't really swim. Let me just confirm. Yeah, so it's more at like the base level. It might even be outside. I'm just wearing it now because it's cute. We'll try going this way and see what I run into. I really like the way the boat just pops out whenever you jump in the water. Island-based Metroidvania concept is pretty cool. Eventually I'm going to get something to do with the bubbles in the water, I assume. So 
a lockpick robot. I have no money. Not right now, friend. Let me make sure that I have at least one on me right now, though. Lockpicks. I don't think I do. I guess I can buy one. Oh, I do? Where do you see them? Under status. Oh, picks! Thank you. Good to know. Hey man, you got a quest exclamation point. I did find another legendary treasure. I think there's like a dungeon here that's kind of like the um, DS Zelda games, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Bring the legendary treasure down in the temple right away. Yeah. Every time you come back, you can go deeper and deeper into the temple, which gets you some unlocks. I don't think I can fit in there. There's probably a, like a rock I can push there to be able to fit. I almost deserve to die there. Nope, and there I died. That might be my first death. I've gotten close before, but not quite there. Don't give up, kid. Thank you, autosave. Scarf, do I have to place the artifacts in the area above the elevator in order to be able to progress further in here? Do I place them somewhere inside the dungeon? Do you know? Hit that thing. Not like that, though. Should probably go find healing. As long as you have them, you can go further. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna try to go back up the stairs just so I can try to find some food to top off here. I don't die if I touch one spike. Past me was really not out to help me out. This is one of the most successful attempts I've seen at making a non-linear Metroidvania. There's definitely some critical upgrades that if you get them make the game a lot easier to progress through, but... See if I can dig randomly, maybe. Oh, it's money! I didn't even notice that before. Good to know that's a thing. I'm gonna use the warp really quick to try to find some earth food, and then we'll come back and explore the dungeon. I think that would be something that would be worth doing. It's like the nether. As far left as I can go, right? Guess not. I haven't even tried going all the way to the end, I don't think. Oh, it just, it's a, it's a Taurus, it wraps around? Okay. Okay, that's the one I started at today. This is the one we want to go to. We just go to a different island and see if there's food there. Don't 
drop crab meat next time. I already checked all of these for Mario secrets. There should be one up there, it looks like. Carrots! Full health, get hype. Of carrots. Thought I'd see what else is up here. I probably lockpick this, right? Nice. Do locks regenerate? Maybe you leave the area and come back. I guess it's possible I got to that chest from the other direction and didn't leave out the door. Okay. Gotcha. All right, let's try this again with the help of six hit points instead of one. Hey, Burner, what's up? This game has a few things that remind me of um, La Milana. I guess La Milana is probably the next most successful game for uh, being a non-linear Metroidvania, but it has a lot of like critical path upgrades that are really brutal if you miss them. There's a La Milana randomizer? What? That sounds amazing. I wonder how you would even pull that off. Okay, that should open now because I have the second treasure. We got a progression item from this chest, if I recall correctly, so. Was it made by people other than the devs, or did it have the devs' blessing at all, you know? Time block, because it would be really mean to make that time block. So. Money, money, money! Oh, now I can take a shortcut straight down, gotcha. Possible I could have earlier when I first got in, too. What we get? What we get? Fast hook. You can swing and throw your hook faster. That's exciting. Oh yeah, that's... I mean, I still have to wait for it to regenerate, right? Very cool. I'd love to see more devs add a randomizer mode, like, officially. It's something that I think that Dark Souls would really benefit from in a New Game Plus setting. Okay, so I come back here once I get more. And I'm not sure if Fast Hook is a progression ability. It might be. Mostly just a combat convenience thing. Presumably that's what gets them added to the pedestals up top. Finds legendary treasures. It's tradition. 
So he has a little exclamation point whenever you have treasures that you haven't put in the building, I assume. to where to go. Okay, cool. Not this one. This the fast hook also make my full damage hit regenerate faster? from Terraria. So I've gotten in there. Oh, new Nev Pearl of a shovel blade. I like the sound of that. Where's the shovel blade? Legendary treasure. Cannon. based on time of day. We learned about this earlier. I think we've been on both sides. Let me make sure that there's nothing showing still in this section of the island. Yeah, I think we're done. find your ring yet. Don't ask me why. I think that's where I got the uh, shovel originally. telling you go in the pyramid and dig through the sand. But I'm gonna try getting that shovel blade because that's completely new info for me. Okay, we've got a run button now. It's relatively new. Checked everywhere that makes sense to check on this island before we go. Oh, 
the nanas. Koalas love the clap. X never mercy. That'd be my favorite scene in uh, all of Indiana Jones. X marks the spot. Kaboom! We did this part up top already. I'm gonna be in this building. I want to go down somewhere. This says there's still a treasure here for me to find. Maybe there's not something I can get just yet. Hey, there's the follow grizzly. Yeah, I remember a room like this where I kept trying to ride on these things and do some shenanigans to get somewhere where I wasn't supposed to go yet. So I'll probably just bounce out and go do the cannon and the shovel. So what I don't know, nav pearls generally, you can get a nav pearl for an item that you don't have the upgrades to access yet, right? They don't try to set it up so that you can only get the nav pearl once you have the ability to get the thing you're looking for. Crawl right through there, please. Oh, this is the other side of the lockpick. Okay. Very cool. Don't necessarily mean you can get the thing. Okay. Thanks. I do like them as an alternate form of treasure. A unique thing that you're excited about. It's not just the equivalent of like a health or a missile power up. The ideal is to make a Metroidvania where every treasure unlock is exciting. Uh, didn't find that last time I was here. Cool. But that's not really possible, so you have like a gradient of excitement, right? Oh, it's a missile upgrade. I guess I'm happy about that a little bit. It's left one more island. Oh, did I go completely under this island before? Wow, that's crazy. I guess I did. Genius. Not a smart man. Should be on this island somewhere. Shovel blade. The beeping is the nab pearl, right? Ha! Ah. Cute. Because you wouldn't necessarily know to try to dig there, but I guess you could probably still find that even if you didn't have the pearl. Talking snake. Hey there, sister brother. You're a weird looking worm. See anyone around you in ages? Where'd you come from? 
Mother, father's gonna want to meet you. Find her by climbing up here and taking a right. I do know how to climb. That's cool though. I like how there's certain ones where the nab curl makes it a lot easier to get there. How'd you get in here? And no outsiders allowed. Let ourselves in the front door. We didn't know anyone lived here. All about to pass on to the next life. This tribe has existed in this cave since the Great Cataclysm. After the continent fell into the ocean, our surviving ancestors came upon this island and made it our home. Soon other creatures who had survived the catastrophe began moving in as well. But our ancestors saw that the other creatures quickly reverted to petty bickering, lies, and jealousy. I believe it was these behaviors which led the evil demon to cause the cataclysm in the first place. Ancestors cut us off from the rest of the world. And with the ground quakes we've been having, our safe haven's gonna be no more. If you wish to proceed through our domain, use the worm elevator in the other room. We need this to get it to work. Oops. Thanks for the rock. Exposition gating rock. Probably have to throw it on the switch up here. Efficient. It's dangerous to go alone and take this rock. Other father has made travel beyond the store against the rules. The outside world is a cruel, evil place. top hat. You look like an honest young simian. Think you can do an old man a favor? Can't take all these quakes, so I sold everything and left with only a sack of cash. The last quake I dropped my sack of money. Dropped it in the cave next to us. There's some real bullies in there. Side quest. Find Ollie's money. Away before I can crawl. One second. I'm sure, I leave that as a note to Future Mars that it's Castlevania rules for your side items. You guys are the jerks, apparently. Sack of money, it looks like. I think that means they're taking no damage when they make that ting noise, right? Oh, I thought I could make that. Bummer. I need to try to not die. Ooh. Maybe it has food in it. Probably has coins. Sack. Interesting. The shortcut to get back to him, presumably. Here you go. Thank you, young mammal. That's my sack, all right. It's all here. Thanks, man. You see a crack in the ground? Try digging there. You'd be surprised how many coins you find. Some spots are too tough to dig with your regular shovel, but I think the pawn shop and some more has a nice shovel blade. 
Um, to the store. Don't push it in the hole. Nice. What do you sell? Buy fruit. It's expensive, but I'm about to die. No, I want the fruit, not you. Secret there on the left. I really like the secrets in this game, they're well handled. Thank you. Welcome to the city of Samora. It is this way. Hopefully I have enough money for it. No! Okay, maybe I can get it the other direction. Some more a hat store. Can't jump higher to get up there. I do any of this. I think I can, if I can find some fire. Look around the general area. I think that exists to keep me from bringing fire from the west, right? Actually, get flames from a normal lantern, right? It has to be like a torch. Humans and animals actually lived and worked together long ago. Animals can build all kinds of elemental magic. Long time they were able to work together, combining science and magic to create glorious cities. But groups of humans and animals began to distrust one another. Regardless of why wars began to erupt in the world, peace was eventually gained, but it was too late. The violence and strife awakened an evil demon who sought the destruction of the world. Humans have completely forgotten their past. I don't think that I'm supposed to be able to get any fire from this thing right now. I don't think that it's possible for me to knock it down either. I don't see any other sources of fire in the general area though. Make 100% sure there's not some way for me to get it across. I don't think so. Alright, well, I'll try going go on the other path that I found over here. Get to the hat store later. Oh, this is suspicious to me. Thought maybe there'd be a thing in that bottom corner. I jump over this? I can't.
think I left it enough to the left that I can still jump up there and push it. Perfect. Or to the right, I should say. It's a way to get back, presumably. Okay. Maybe is a permanent shortcut. That's bad. Oh, it's actually not. I think there's a space down there that I want to go to. But I don't, can't quite reach it. Good to know. Maybe when I get the double jumper, whatever its equivalent is. Got some wind. Which I can use to cheese this area a little bit. Oh, I could probably use that to get to that area. the fire I was looking for, right? Let's bring that out with us real quick. No! Okay, I get it back. Second time's a charm. Sign got me in trouble before. It's supposed to be a hat sewer. There's a diggable thing here. Oh, I need the shovel blade for that. Okay, I'm trying to remember that that's there. I'll leave a future Mars to note about it. Yeah. Always points down when you're in the air. Thanks, game. It's very kind of you. I don't have often get this much access to wind. So I should double check and make sure there weren't some areas that I couldn't get to before because I wasn't using the wind properly. What's up, dude? Greeting stranger, I am the mayor of Samora. Can't talk, I've got a lot on my mind. Looking for the pawn shop, I'm afraid you're out of luck. It's on the other side of the bridge, which has fallen into disrepair thanks to the ground quakes. If you run into Amos on the other side of the bridge, ask him why the repairs are taking so long. Okay. Can do. You're an evil pill bug, not a friendly pill bug. Okay, so we got bird thing. Bird doesn't, oh, he doesn't care about wind a little bit. Need to bring the rock all the way around because the wind stops being I see. Gotcha. Do this without getting hit, basically. Perfect. 
It was basically just a bird area down there. Hey, we the guys who opened the gates. Much obliged. Be on your way. Okay. There's some empty space along the wall there. One second. Should always try crawling into the wall, though, I think. Shortcuts. There's the bridge. All right, you can see the little nap pearl in the corner saying I'm getting pretty close. I don't think I can bring fire with me easily from there, can I? Mayor tasked me with fixing the bridge. I rebuilt it and hooked it up to the windmill so we could lift it in place. I don't need wind in the cave. Okay. Hey man, can't believe this pawn shop's been abandoned. I traveled for days to get here. Notice if you move an object around, leave the area, and come back, sometimes the object moves back to its original position. Okay, got it. Puzzle involving that. They're completely unrelated. Did you know this? down early. It's one. I'm guessing that dirt block is going to be the demonstration of the shovel blade. Make a plan here. Should be fine. Oh wait, no, this is not a good idea. Womp womp. Shoot it. There we go. In a bit. Okay, I'll probably be in the way if I want to watch, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be holding the thing with the neck. Up to you. You can always watch upstairs and be in chat. This is true. Although if I go upstairs, I'm just gonna watch a crappy TV show. <laughs> it's up to you. I'm down either way. Can I say some donations? Uh, sure. Okay, I just wanted to tell chat. I think it's funny that yesterday during my travel, I apparently have a routine. 
is I go to the airport in Las Vegas and I go to my bar and I know the bartender and he's like, how are the Doobie Brothers? Because I told him about that. And he's also, at this point, I don't even need to say anything. I just give him a thumbs up and he's pouring my Stella because he knows exactly what I, what beer I want. And then I land in Albuquerque and I go to the airport hotel and the night clerk there is like, oh, hey, Andrew, you're back. You want a late checkout, right? I was like, yes, I do, because it's midnight and I want to sleep in. Um, and then in the morning, I go to Waffle House and she's like, unsweetened, right? And I was like, yep. <laughs> she's like, same thing, right? Or raisin, waffle, bacon. Yep. So you're now on like your so, 20th or so trip to Las so Vegas for work? I have these work. people I see during my trip and they all know what I want. Because <laughs> I do the same thing. Oh. And it's just going to keep on happening for another year. <laughs> I just think that's cool. That's sweet. Alright, that's all. I'm going to make a drink. Just wait and get some ice. Okay. Thanks. Ronald says, you're a regular. You know, it kind of makes traveling feel homey, you know? Homey? Or, you know, like... You feel like you're not traveling? Right. I'm, yes. I'm just, I'm going to go get a beer with Darren and gonna, you know, go get some Waffle House with Allie. They're my buddies. Nice. Hey, I fixed your bridge. Maybe the mayor will finally cut me some slack. Can't believe the incompetent roach actually did something useful. I hope the bridge won't fail. Well. Alright, so there's a thing that I want to do that's below the bridge, but I'll come back to it. I want to try to do that before the session's over so I don't forget. Oh, it's like temporarily powering the lights. That's cute. I don't know if I can get fire from a geyser like that. So it would certainly damage me if I touched it. I see. If I can open a door over here, yes, I can. I can go with the thing I left behind a second ago. I think if I've been somewhere other than here that had it that was clearly blocked by not having a strong enough shuttle. Shortcut hype. Let me finish doing the puzzle in here first. I wasn't sure I was going to get away with it. Got the thing. Still a thing in the top left corner that I need fire for. But there's like an area I have to crawl through, which I think makes me lose my fire. Well, that looks exciting. tried to do the northwest fire thing here. I do like how this room is set up so you can do it without having this bottle, but having the bottle makes it way easier. 
sort of. It's the evil bug, not a friend. I don't think there's anything for me to do down here, but I'll try really quick. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I guess that's the way I'm usually supposed to get the fire. Okay. Because the way I did it before involved bottle cheese. Yeah, because I can't, I can't climb things when I'm carrying fire. And I think I'm further restricted. I think that this water would destroy fire if I had it with me anyway. I'm not sure if it actually works that way. There's gotta be a way for me to get fire through there. I mean, maybe I can just like leave a faith, launch it from the right side without actually crossing. I don't know how far it travels if I'm not there to watch it travel. I guess I should also confirm if I can even uh, carry it with me that way, you know? I think to get up here, yeah, I need to be able to grab, which I won't be able to do, so I don't think that's the right answer. We just have to come back later. Let's see if I can get progress towards the cannon. I can make the bridge go back up. Not that I'd want to. I cannot. Okay. Good to know. I'm done in this cave for now. Caused me to dump my bottle. Good to know. Good progress. I got a new item. Got a new nav pearl. Got the attack speed upgrade from the uh, the main dungeon. kind of tricky to get in there too. You have to go through one way and then push the block not all the way in in order to be able to jump up. It's clever. Just a little elevator. Long before we agreed to lock ourselves in this cave, a visitor installed the elevator for us. No one knows how to repair it permanently. Before the grind rig started, this place was great. All the dirt you can eat. You're not a worm? I don't understand. I 
are all worms. Oh, there's a creature I didn't talk to in there. One sec. Side quest related, maybe? Howdy! Quakes made me nervous, but when I repeat Mother Father's words, I feel better. Chaos is inherent in all compounded things. Strive on with diligence. Okay. There's actually probably more of those uh, dark colored blocks that I'm remembering from exploring other areas. If I just go back to other islands and look for them, there's probably a lot more stuff that I can unlock now with the shovel blade. Look really quick, cannon. All the way over there. Cannon and a legendary treasure. Oh, I never noticed those piranhas before, yikes. Is this the kind of earth that I can dig in now? I don't think I can do anything on this island right now, or at least I don't have any hints for things here. Pretty sure I've been down here before, yeah. I guess it's easy food if I'm passing by this island. Warpy thing, I'm gonna take it. Hey, Fisher friend. That's it. Here's the thing. It's a big complicated island, right, on the far right side? This one? I remember exploring this last episode. Maybe now I can get it. to the right. Gets directly down from where I'm standing right now. Ah, but that's a one-way thing. Okay. See if there's somewhere to dig down. Hmm. 
Nice. <laughs> Lovely. I love the secrets in this game, they're great. I think I can actually hit that from down here, can I? Maybe the cannon will let me. We're about at time, but I'm gonna grab this cannon real quick so that I know what to do next session. Make sure I've got a little staircase to get out of here. You can just grab onto any sand block that's helpful enough to make stairs. Serious. It's really not in the sand. Ah, you had to dig for it. So the nap pearl. It's a way to make it so you probably need the nap pearl to find it, I guess. Gotcha. And there's still a treasure on this island. I assume the way the cannon works is I can launch from here. Now that we've got this sweet cannon, you can probably learn how to use it. Press left bumper and right bumper to aim. Hold X to charge. Oh, that's cool. You charge it up. Cool. Okay. Future Marstead. Uh, a couple things. First of all, these special options in this game, you hold up like Castlevania and then press other buttons to pull things out, like the bottle, or to shoot your hook. Uh, the cannon you just got is left bumper, right bumper to aim. That's your new progression ability. We also got a new shovel that lets you dig orange sand blocks. So go explore the game world with those two things, see what you can find. You can probably get more legendary treasures, these white nav pearls. Uh, when you get a legendary treasure, bring it back to the main museum palace thing. You can explore further and get more upgrades. Awesome. We made a ton of progress today. I was a little worried because I hadn't left myself a future Mars said note at the beginning of this stream, but things went well. Thanks, Scarf. I really do like this game a lot. Uh, let me make sure that I get to an actual save point real quick before I just turn the game off. Probably should have been doing that while I was talking, but, you know, whatever. Unless it just auto saved, which is possible. About those, the koala clap. Nothing more critical to talk about. I think the game is saved, hasn't it? Saving most of the time when you area transition, I think. I actually do need to manually save. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that would be a shame to lose all that progress. Video James. It's a good idea, right? Oh my Jim Jam, where are the save points? Let me buy one of these while I'm here.
I know there's one on the starting island, I can do that. Oh, beds also count as save points? Okay, thanks. Try that after I warp here. One of these islands has got to have one, right? This is one of those new things that I can dig up. Nope, that's a puzzle. Okay. I'm gonna give Future Marston another note to rewind further back, because usually I just watch the last, like, two minutes, and if I don't give myself tips... Let's just play it safe and go all the way back. Unintended progression hype. Exactly. The museum does? Okay, perfect. It's an easy spot. Uh, Future Mars said, go back a couple minutes. I gave the Future Mars said message several minutes ago. Also notice there's a island you got to while hunting for a save point that you can go to for progress. Cool. For real this time. 